Hey, today's task is going to be to install Windows 10 using the Pi KVM. Pi KVM is running on my Nano Pi Neo 256, which is shown in the video. Let's go over to my desktop. All right, let's download the Windows stuff. I'm going to download the media creation tool. Download tool now. Tools downloaded. I'm going to allow it to make changes to my desktop. One of the things I'd like to do first is clean my USB drive. So we're going to run disk part. Allow it to make changes. We're going to list disk. Select disk six. Clean. Create partition. Primary. back over here we can close this out we're gonna accept this I'm actually gonna go to the Pi KVM right now Click on Drive. Make sure there's nothing on there. Should have plenty of space. This is going to be about eight gigs that I have to upload. We're going to say collect or create installation media. That's all fine. We're going to do the USB drive. Let me format that drive really quick. Let's bring up disk part again. All right, we're going to select disk. Actually, let's list them again. List disk. Select disk six. Format fast. Nope. List partition. Select partition one. Now format fast. I always forget if it's quick or fast. There we go, successfully done. Let's hide that again. And we'll refresh this drive list. There it is with no label. We're gonna hit next. And I'll fast forward. All right, the media creation is done. We'll hit finish. I guess I should quickly explain why I'm using a USB image as opposed to an ISO. So according to uh, the documentation for Pi KVM, um, there's a size limit of 2.25 or 2.2 gigabytes, and Windows installation media is larger than that. So this is actually going to be following from here on out, and uh, we're going to get the image uploaded. So right now I'm going to go take the USB drive out of my main computer and stick it into the Pi KVM and transfer it over that way. It mentions um, using a, a different program to upload it, but I'm since it's in the same uh, room, I'm just going to upload it this way. All 
All right, I've got the Pi KVM uh, with the USB drive in it. So let's SSH into the device. Let's see if it'll resolve. There we go. All right. So let's follow the instructions that are here on the screen. We move Pi KVM over here. Okay, SDA is there. Should be able to pretty much copy and paste every one of these in there. Make it read white, read write. Um, usually, you know what? I'm actually gonna change that. Bring up Notepad. I'm not doing the 2004 image. It's my mine is H something, but we're just gonna call it Windows 10 bin. And this should start copying. I'm not gonna make, make you sit through it, so uh, be back in a minute. All right, looks like it finished. We'll continue on. Um, that took almost in what, 50 minutes. All right, so next, let's modify this. And remember I changed the name. And we're going to remount as read only. All right, let's exit out of that. Let's go back to our host. And I'm going to refresh the page for uh, kicks and giggles to see if it shows up in the drive. There it is. And we'll have to mount it as flash. Um, that's as far as I'm going to go for this video. I will continue recording um, the actual installation of Windows onto my Dell Optiplex.